Evening everyone, uh, welcome back to the Isolation Pub Sessions uh, in September. Uh, this is the Happy September everyone. Um, here we go, uh, as we've, the pub's reopened, cheers. I actually got some real beer this time. I thought it was about time we did another one of these. Um, so I'm going to crack straight on with um, uh, a couple of Morris tunes. The first one um, is one that I play with Jackie Oates actually. We use it um, as the melody um, for the... Congleton Bear which is a, a song written by John Tams but he used this Morris tune as the basis to write the song on um, and it's called Swaggering Boney um, and after that we'll uh, do another Morris tune but this one's not real because I wrote it um, both of these are in my books uh, Swaggering Boney's in Forage Music and um, uh, my one called The Gooseberry Bush is in uh, in uh, Jiggery Poker Work so links down below as usual just in case you haven't got them I know most people probably <laughs> The amount of books I've been sending out to people here. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. Uh, do bear in mind there are some slows in here, which is a slow section um, in the second part of the tune. We'll do those on the third time through each one. So, Swaggering Boney and, and uh, the Gooseberry Bush. Please join in. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, well done, everyone. Thanks for joining in with that. Um, uh, so, yeah, it feels like I've been away from doing this. Uh, I'm going to do a quick change of melodians here because I've started on the angry one today. I'm not particularly angry today, but uh, bear with. There we go. Um, so, while I've been away, I've been very, very busy um, uh, doing a lot of work for online folk festivals and things over the summer. I'm sure some of you, uh, I've definitely recognised some familiar faces from when I did the virtually um, Shrewsbury Folk Festival big band uh, workshop. Um, it felt a bit like a session to me with a bit more prompting for what to play from myself. But um, yeah, thank you for joining in with that. Um, and uh, I haven't quite finished my run of busyness. Um, I've just finished recording a, a second album with Peter Knight. It's all very exciting indeed, um, and uh, all the recordings are done. We still need to mix it and everything, but uh, there's all that to do. And then um, this Sunday I've got an actual gig, uh, a proper folk festival called Beardy Folk Festival. That's sold out, so you can't come along um, because it's only 20% of its original capacity. But um, uh, I do have gigs on Monday and Tuesday as well, so a run of three gigs in a row. This is the most most work proper work i've done for a long time so uh those are both online gigs um and so i will put links to those down below because uh it would be great if uh, we could get as many people along to them as possible the first one is coming live from the nettlebed folk club um venue although there won't be the nettlebed folk club there because we're not allowed to do it with people in the room um uh but it'll feel a bit more folk clubby and we're going to be live streaming the gig spanner big band um and it's officially our album launch for um the album i keep plugging i've actually haven't got any left here to um uh to tell you <laughs> so um but yeah natural invention will be launching that um uh in the description below um and uh and then on the tuesday um i'm doing another gig for folk weekend oxford so it really is all go um, and that's going to be uh, with Peter Knight live from the shed, just the two of us and hopefully we'll be playing some of the new stuff we've done on the record as well as um, the sort of repertoire we normally do. So yeah, all very exciting. Um, so as usual, that's my adverts out of the way. <laughs> How's everyone been keeping? All right, it's been, a, I thought it was going to be all autumnal when I came back, but it's absolute swelter of a day here. Um, so I've, I've kind of waited for the evening um to to actually get this recorded because uh it's just been so hot um eggnog isn't in the room um uh, just give you an eggnog update in that uh over the summer now um we, she's inherited some friends we've we've uh we've adopted three more chickens uh from someone that couldn't look after them anymore and so she's spending less time hanging around with us and more time with real chickens so i think that's probably a healthy thing even though it means it's rarer for her to be randomly in my videos uh so, uh, so I was going to finish off this one with a 3-2 hornpipe. Um, uh, again, it's in Forage Music if you want to find the dots for it. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's called If You Will Not Have Me, You May Let Me Go. And we knew it. We played it in Bellowhead at nearly every gig we ever did. Um, and we just called it the B minor 3-2s. So uh, we'll play this round a few times because it's really fun to get your teeth into. Um, and it's uh, it's a five-part tune, I think. Well, you'll work it out. Uh, this is uh, If You Will Not Have Me, You May Let Me Go. <laughs> Thank you. 
excellent good luck with that one um so yeah um what else have i got to tell you uh about september the next uh, one of these will be in october um uh who knows when uh but i have a lot more free time in october so it's uh slightly to be acted on quicker the other thing to say about this is uh, i suppose if you've never seen one of these isolation pub sessions before where have you been um we did them for the entirety of lockdown 20 weeks um but we have uh the idea is that you play along with me learn the tunes you can learn them at your leisure and then play along and if you send me a video of yourself playing along then uh i'll kind of collage all the videos together and it ends up sounding like a session you can check on the youtube channel there's lots of past finished ones to look at um now normally when i was doing these weekly during lockdown i would start them on the sunday and then people would have a, um till i think it's the wednesday I, wednesday night i would do the final mix um but obviously I'm, I'm away until tuesday so you've got pretty much a week uh to to get these done i think um yeah i'll uh, i'll try and uh, get these done sometime next week <laughs> i won't give an exact deadline get them in by a week's time and, and it'll definitely make it so uh um if i've got enough time to edit it all together it should come out on wednesday night like usual um okay i think that's all i've got to say nice to see everyone again cheers see you in october